Welcome to the tutorial series for LocalSim. Before proceeding, make sure to view the previous parts of the series. This video will give instructions on tools needed to create a signalized intersection. A basic four-legged intersection having two lanes per approach will be used as example. Before proceeding, make sure to prepare a signal timing diagram. This will be used as the basis for the red, yellow, and green times of the stoplight. A street map is also useful in giving labels. Let's start by putting labels for each direction based on the map. On the Tools tab, click on the Landmark button. Now click on where you want to put the label. A prompt will appear that allows the user to change the size of the label and the label name. Based on the sample map, this will be North Avenue, Agham, Demog Avenue, and Sergeant Esguera. To create a stoplight, on the Controls tab, click on the Stoplight button. Never click on the green side of the link because this is where the cars are flowing in. Click on the red side. Based on the signal timing diagram, red time for North Avenue is 177 seconds, green time is 40 seconds, and yellow time is 3 seconds. Start time corresponds to the start time of the green time. For North Avenue, the stoplight indicates green at the start of the cycle, hence, start time is equal to zero. Since there are two lanes corresponding to two movements in this approach, the stoplight needs to be configured for each lane. Stoplight creation must be repeated for the other lane as well. This procedure needs to be repeated per approach and per lane movement. The stoplight location can be adjusted. Click and drag the stoplight to align them. A helpful tip, when you click near the stoplight, the road may turn blue. This means that you have selected the road instead of the stoplight. If that is the case, don't drag, just try selecting the stoplight again. In this example, all stoplights have been flushed to align at the end of the links. This ends the video on creating a signalized intersection.